Welcome to a new daily top ask credit video. Today's topic. There is a new restaurant called Karma. It doesn't have a menu. You just get what you deserve. So what are you getting? I've been called thrifty forward slash cheap before, so I'm probably getting the bill. You might be cheap, but you also sound honest and introspective. Now make sure you leave a tip. You know that shit gonna be 10% on the pre-tax total. Knowing what I deserve is a huge karmic achievement. Don't think I am that enlightened yet. We all are getting our just desserts. Or oh, just dessert. I wanted a full meal. The water in the pan left over from boiling hot dogs. Yikes. What did you do to deserve that? That's a delicacy to some people. A relatively plain meal with just under the amount of calories I would need to feel satisfied. The Japanese have a saying for this, it's called Hara Hachibu. It means, eat until you are 80% full. Maybe I should adopt this method. I'm putting on the COVID-19. Alphabet soup with 8 letters get a life. That's only 7 letters, you can't count E twice. HMM. Maybe I should get a life. My town used to have a restaurant ironically called, serves you right. So my answer is botulism. But I mean, it serves you, right. Ah oh yes. That classic to serve man episode of the Twilight Zone. My favorite food, spaghetti carbora. But no fork or even chopsticks. I feel like I've always had the potential to do good things with my life, but I tend to never push myself, always take the easiest way out, the path of least resistance. Plus I tend to get a little self-conscious about what other people think ill. It would be a good reality check. Like, you want this. Come and get it and don't give a fuck what others think about you eating like a savage. Or don't, just sit there and look at this delicious bowl of food. I've now decided I want to go to a Jimmicky restaurant that only serves spaghetti and everyone has to eat with their hands. I just think the vibe in there would be so hilarious. Jokes on them. I wouldn't use my hands, I'd just shove my face in the bowl, by eating contest style. A hug, but not like a genuine hug. Like one of those awkward hugs that you get because you have to give hugs, but you can just tell that nobody in the hug wants to be in the hug. Yeah, and on the side I guess like a slice of cheese pizza. Hugs of any kind may soon fade away. It goes on and on and oh oh. oh. Somewhere between a punch in the face and a nice three-fourth star meal. Edit, I leave this for two hours and somehow it's almost as upvoted as the post itself. For your appetizer, a finger flick to your nose. You know why. For your soup course, a lovely lobster bisque. You know why. For the main course, a full rack of a knuckle sandwich. You know why. For dessert, a pie to the face. You definitely know why. Sounds about right for me too. I'm allergic to lobster and I still deserve the lobster bisque. I don't know. I'm too biased to properly decide what I deserve. Same, biased against myself. I think I get a swift kick to the shin and my face slammed into the pie. Look at Mr. Self-esteem over here with pie. It would be the tastiest looking dish one could imagine until I tasted it. Because it would be flavored with all the unknown pain I have caused in my life to others. It's karma though, so it would be balanced by all the unknown happiness you've brought others as well. No, that's the dessert. An ugly looking piece of cake that have the underlining taste of just that. Oh, I actually want my life review to go like that. A MC Karma Sad Meal It's exactly the same as a Happy Meal, but it's from last week. It comes with a broken toy. I'd get just desserts. Maybe just a slice of humble pie. Removed. You get what you fucking deserve. We live in a society. Spaghetti and meatballs. Nothing spectacular but it's a proper meal and it tastes good. It's not heaven, it's just life. That's what I was thinking. Probably something simple, like scrambled eggs or maybe even a simple PB&J sandwich. Not the best, but better than what some get. Waiter doesn't even take my order. I have been ghosting someone recently. Boo. Christ just text them it's over please do not contact me at an absolute minimum, especially if they've been trying to talk to you. A plate of regret and a slice of humble pie. 
I'll probably be getting a knuckle sandwich. Chicken fried steak with country gravy, sunny side up eggs, two slices of bacon, and hash browns. With black coffee free refills. Perfect meal to remind me I'm blue collar and not fancy. Thanks karma keeping me grounded. I'd kill for a chicken fried steak right now, damn. Probably a $1 McDonald's cheeseburger, it replicates the amount of effort I put into most things in life. I just hope I don't get a bat. Undercooked, no less. They bring me water after I ask and then I wait. And I continue to wait. The restaurant closes. I wait. The prep staff comes and goes. Diners of all sorts shuffle in throughout the day. First the senior brunch crowd, telling each other stories of their youth, great triumphs and failures. I wait. Then comes the business lunch crowd. Drinks are poured. Promises are made. Hands are shook. I wait. Early dinner rolls around and the young families pour in, kids in tow. Parents eager for the silence of chewing. I wait. Happy hour comes, and those seeking connection come and go faster than half-priced drinks. I wait. New lovers come for candlelight dinners. I wait. The college crowd closes the bar. I wait. I wait. I wait. My meal never came because I waited too long. Probably not what you meant, but this really puts a spin on procrastination. Pretty much what I meant. Procrastination reaps its own kind of karma. Oatmeal. Like, plain oatmeal. No toppings. Dag. Nothing. Restaurant closed due to virus. I'll be served the best chicken ever served. I'm veg. An egg. In this trying time. I got what I deserved before I deserved it so I'm getting revenge and being calmer. So I'll be a waitress. And get a glass of water. I'm getting my dog back but maybe not the way I wanted him. Edit, haha ha, thanks for the silver it's my first. Restaurant was built on a burial ground. According to my Fortite group, a bowl of dicks. Just watch people dow vote a funny answer because Fortite is mentioned. Soilet. Because we all deserve other people. Wholesome and horrifying. This does describe my sense of humor. Just dessert. Waitress plops down on the table, lifts her skirt, and tells me to dig in. It's my favorite, Jolly Ranchers. Almost reflexively Dow voted this in horror because I know exactly what you are talking about. ETA, exactly how bad of a person are you? I don't think anyone short of Hitler himself deserves that. Unless I am missing something. After all this, some fucking cheesecake. A steak, with some rice. Nothing out of the ordinary, however nothing too shabby either. A bowl of best intentions. With the way 2020 has been going, it better be cheesecake. Probably a kick in the nards followed by a bowl of ice cream. I don't actually like ice cream. I'd probably get an amazing multi-course meal of dairy products. I'm lactose intolerant and love dairy items. You demo. A shit sandwich, undoubtedly. A hug. Coming right up. SCP-173 appears to give a nice, tight hug around your neck. That emoji always looks to me like he's trying to grab some tea ideal mayo. I'm getting poisoned by my own girlfriend, then she hides my body in the basement and lets me rot in there for three weeks before having a mental breakdown, and confesses on Reddit in a cryptic comment on a post that has no upvotees as of the time posting. WTF. I'm gonna assume you're joking for my own safety. I regular meal but I wait a ridiculously long time for it. One serving of poached asshole coming right up. Prop a bunch of Kit Kat bars cause I deserve a break. Chocolate. I fucking hate chocolate. Here come the Dow votes and angry comments but I already got my karma punishment. Ah. Chocolate can be subjective. And bad chocolate that's all wax or crumbly is horrible. Whatever I get, I give to someone else. Then get more, repeat until the world is full and happy. Including me. Everyone wins. You will starve. 
the time it would take him to individually deliver 7 billion meals would definitely do it. What I deserve. A ham and cheese sandwich, slightly overcooked and too salty, but nevertheless enjoyable. Onion soup. Dumped on my head. I say I deserve a good meal I've tried to be a good person my whole life. I care about people's feelings, I put others before me and I think I'm fun to be around. I think that warrants an enjoyable meal. Better. A lesson in how to be respectful of others' opinions. I work in healthcare so hopefully just a hot meal. A noose with a side special of death. I'm sure you don't deserve to die. Whatever the chef can make with absolute minimal effort. Water, coming right up. I named my ex's cat Karma. She had a split face. I got lots of love from her so I guess that's what I deserved. She loved sleeping on the pillow next to my head and knocking my ex's stuff off the counter. That's what he deserved. Anyway, if I ate there now I feel like I deserve my favorite foods after my car accident so it would be half-size portions of a chimichanga, baby back ribs, and some sushi so I could eat it all. <laughs>